Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Thank you for clicking on the video and welcome back to another Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. Today, we are back at the 2023 Louisville Manufactured Home Show and we have seen some great home tours so far and I got some great coming in the near future. But today, we are checking out this awesome home right here. This is the Sandalwood Excel 32664X, also known as the Excalibur. And this home is built by Fleetwood Homes Lafayette. It is a four bed, two bath, sitting at 1,920 square feet. And the dimensions of this home is a 64 by 32 foot. This home is amazing, let's get in there. The base price for this is about $165,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, let's start with some of the things that actually surprised me, you know, walking into this home right here on the right hand side. You have an optional buffet and locker uh, built right here where you can store your keys, your shoes, your coats, everything else. I like that you walk in, you don't really expect that in your foyer, you know, and then what I really liked over here on the uh, left hand side of the door is this little office. Um, me being a guy that you know, is either on the road or always on a computer working, you know, his tail off. This is great. I mean, you have a good amount of storage here in the cabinets. You have some shelving for, you know, decorations and so forth. And a great, you know, countertop here with more, more room, um, you know, in your drawers. So looking at this, this is a really nice addition to this home, you know, being only 1900 20 square feet and it also has a nice big window let that natural light in because sometimes you know you just don't want to stare at that screen anymore you know and then also right here it's surprised like we have a coat closet right here off to the right hand side of the door you know which in Kentucky right now this is a great thing to have in a lot of spaces personally I'm from California so the question is is why would I have it because it's never cold I don't have my coats <laughs> but you know now we're walking into this home we have eight foot side walls a flat ceiling a good amount of room all across this open floor plan you the dining area right here that we're looking into you know it's right here right off to the left hand side but it is 11 feet 7 inches by 5 9 feet 5 inches so that's a good amount of room you get a better look there at the buffet and the locker there which like I said taking a look let's see inside gives you plenty of room and storage uh, for your things you know maybe those things that you need to get on out the door or you know that you don't want to forget like my keys and wallet would go right there um, this living room again is a good uh, bit of size um, with a great entertainment center right here. Uh, this has the, um, the electrical fireplace which warm up the entire living room and a nice mantle for your television. The size of the living room is 17 feet 5 inches by 14 feet 8 inches and it comes with three big windows which is rather nice. Um, this kitchen here, it's kind of a, a split kitchen. Uh, the refrigerator over here into the built-in which I like you have plenty of space around that for um, your goods your dry goods and everything else this is a Whirlpool stainless steel package throughout the home um, those are um, uh, particle boards inside the uh, the cupboards and so forth so that's what you're gonna get with this home um, the island good good bit of room there you can sit at least four people there and again, plenty of room and storage for um, your pots, pans, everything else that you'll be needing. This home, set up for electrical, but again, you go into that ordering process, you can switch that up um, and turn it into gas or whatever you'll be needing. Um, again, we have a good amount of um, storage space within your drawers, your cabinets and everything. I like the backsplash. That has a, uh, a dark toned backsplash to your white marble-ish uh, countertop and the farmhouse style stink there nice big windows they do open um, and you can you know look outside and see the kids in the backyard or just see your area see your land um, you know depending on where you're gonna put this home um, and now you know we're gonna go back here and take a look at some of the guest rooms uh, the pantry the utility room and everything else so um, I like the trim on the doorways. I like this wood. Um, right here we have a linen closet that has a lot of pillows in it at the moment, but it works out <laughs> for what's needed. Um, 
Now let's take a look at the um, the utility room right here. It's actually quite spacious. You know, we have the optional linen cabinet right there off to the left hand side, and um, right here that we're walking up to behind those hooks, that is where your hot water heater access is. So. Just to let you know, it is behind those coat racks, and they did a good job in hiding it, in my opinion. Here's your air conditioning unit right there, easily accessible. Um, a big sink over there, and like I said, in this um, linen cabinet, good amount of storage. Nice enough room for your side-by-sides. Um, this is actually a really big, um, you know, mud room. This home, like I said, was 1,920 square feet. And the way they laid it out is great. It gives you a lot of space, you know, kind of like this room, um, the office. You usually don't see those kind of things in a home that is 1,920 square feet. So, you know, hats off to Fleetwood. This is actually really nice so far. Um, now we are in the guest bath and it switches it up a little bit um, you know the same kind of wood grain um, but the countertops are black kind of like your your um, office over there in front um, black backsplash we have a cupboard here on the right hand side which is always cool always good to have elongated toilets here and a um, 30 inch by 60 inch tub and shower fiberglass combo nice Very nice. Okay, now let's go take a look at some of these guest rooms. Now this first guest room um, is 11 feet, 11 inches by 9 feet, 9 inches. It's actually the smallest of the four rooms. It does come with a nice walk-in closet right there that we'll probably take a look at in a moment or so. But, um, you know, now the one thing that I did notice with this home is within the closets, the utility room, and some of those areas, you have board and batten. Um, you have VOG walls, and um, which, you know, are hidden, but it's not a full sheetrock um, or drywalled home. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our uh, second guest room here. Now, these two guest rooms are pretty much almost exact. Um, this one is 9 feet 6 inches by 14 feet 6 inches. Um, good amount of room for, you know, a queen bed, um, a, a double, I mean a full, excuse me. Um, the uh, walk-in closet, again, you see the board and batten, but you have three good wire shelves that uh, you could probably change out for wooden shelves if you wanted to in the ordering process. So, you know, there's that. Now we're going to go into our, oh actually, let's take a look at the end of the pantry real quick. And a good amount of room in this pantry. Um, yeah, you can fit a lot in here if you wanted to add shelves. It gives you, you know, some room to do that. So that's kind of cool, but that is a huge pantry. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the third guest room here. We're going to walk in, and us being at the show, you're going to see some of these floor plans here, and over here we see some of the uh, um, options, color choices, and everything else that you can you can choose when you go in to order you know, a home at your local retailer. Uh, this, this bedroom right here is 9 feet 6 inches by 14 feet 6 inches. Like I said, it's a carbon copy of the other room, and the closet, same amount of room, and hey, you know what? They used it for storage here, and you can see it, it has a lot of room for storage. Yes, yeah, so you see there's some of those those uh, options, those colors, the palettes. You can really make this home what you want it to be. If you don't like these, you know, these these yellowish walls or this wood trim, you can change that, honestly. So that's really cool about manufactured housing. This is not what you're going to get. This is what you could have, or you can make it to be what you want it. But, you know, there is a link in the description below that will take you directly to this floor plan where you can learn more about it. You can see some photos take a 3D tour, see some videos, and get pricing directly from a retailer. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so then you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted. And right now, we are walking into the primary bedroom. Now this primary bedroom is 12 feet 6 inches by 14 feet 8 inches. Um, really big room. We have the barn door right there, which is optional you can change that to a regular door if you care um, there is no closet within the bedroom 
But that walk-in we're going to take a look at in a minute when we go into the primary bath. And in here we have dual vanities, good um, uh, mirrors right there, big in size. This shower is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I like how they changed the color palette in here. It's kind of like a soft blue. And this is a hand-laid tile of, uh, you know, marvelous color. I can't think of the color right now. Sorry, everybody. But this primary bath is gorgeous. And like I said in here, this is where your walk-in closet is. And um, a good amount of shelving for your things. Um, you can add more shelving. And like I said, probably within the ordering process, change it up change it up. We have a little bit of storage there on the right hand side if you can see that. But we're gonna swing around here and take a look. You see there's the uh, storage now it's just like this on the other side and then here is your restroom right here. This is a uh, off um, into another room that has a door. Um, so there's that. So it's really cool. Really nice. I'm actually uh, re rather impressed in this home. I mean the spaciousness of it, the design of it, the look of it. I actually rather like it, and I hope you do too. So, you know, if you want to learn more about it, like I said, there's a link in the description below. Hit that. If you want to follow along on this journey, hit that subscribe button. But hey, thank you everybody for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the home tour of the Sandalwood Excel 32664X, which is known as the Excalibur, built by Fleetwood Homes Lafayette. I hope to see you next time wherever that home tour might be. Thank you for joining me today. In the meantime, live smarter. Choose Manufactured, have a wonderful day, and travel easy.